okay, I'm gonna cover some ways that you can find academic articles without having to be a part of university or college or enrolled in one. So what you can do is Google a university and accompany it with library. So what that does is bring up the library, but it also brings up the digital library. What that means is that you can actually access the databases that they have available for students and for anyone who wants to use them. So depending on what discipline or what kind of category that you're looking for, that's what you're going to look for in certain databases. So it's going to take some uh, experimenting to find out which databases are most relevant to you and to what you're trying to look for. So what you're going to notice is that after the links are open, you get this page that tells you to log in. Go up to the URL and delete the university part. So you're only going to leave the part that's taking you to the advanced search that these journals have. So after you do that, you can search for whatever you want. So as an example, I've chosen three articles that I really like. So it's actually going to bring up this part, related articles. That's what you want to click on to take you to Google Scholar. You can also just input the article in Google Scholar and it'll take you here as well. Just go to all versions. And here's going to take you to all the versions that are available online, at least that Google Scholar has compiled. Now, sometimes you might still be able to find it online and it's not on Google Scholar. So a good example of that is one of the videos that we actually released that um, it was on mortality rates and they actually had a book chapter online somewhere that I was able to find and I was able to put in the description for whoever wants to read it. But anyways, what you want to do is click on one of the PDF ones and it's actually going to take you to a source that's directly pulled from the Wiley online library which is just as good as what you would get from being a subscriber to a journal. So what I want you to also see is that you know, some articles are going to have several versions of them. So this one actually has it from the CDC. What you can do is save the link and it'll pop up. So sometimes you might not be able to find it through Google Scholar, in which case you might be able to find it through Google. And if you can, great. But also don't waste your time either. If you can't find it on Google, chances are it not, might not even be there. And so maybe you can go to ResearchGate, which is a place where if you go there and you can actually find the profile of the people who often wrote the article, you can actually message them through there and ask them if they could, hey, you know, post it so that I can see it. If not, you'll be able to find the abstract and at least know more or less what the article's about. So just remember that you have access to all of these resources. And if you're creative enough, you can actually find the articles online. So again, I hope this was helpful. I'll see you all soon.